Okay, so we have three laws of exponents problems here. The first one dealing with the product, and here we have a power to a fractional exponent. And here we have the quotient, right, of two bases, two equal bases with different um, exponents. Let's start with the product over here. The idea is that we have two to the fifth, which is two times two times two times two times two, right, five twos. And we're multiplying that by two to the negative second which is essentially one half times one half or one over four or one over two squared right that would also be equivalent so we can regroup these i want to say let's multiply this two and this half and then this two with this half those would cancel out to one and one right two times a half is just one and we're left with the answer which is two times two times two right here we're simplifying that's just two to the third. Uh, a shortcut, of course, would be to add these exponents because five plus negative two is just three, which is our exponent right here. So in general, of course, when we're multiplying two equal bases, right? Here, the base was two and two. So the base is equal and we have different exponents. What can we do? Well, in general, we can just add the exponents as a shortcut. So it's x to the a plus b, right? That's our that's our general structure there. Let's jump here to the last problem. You can imagine that when we're multiplying, if we're adding exponents, when we divide, since division is opposite, the, the general um, shortcut is to subtract the exponents. So when we're, we're multiplying, we add the exponents. When we divide, we subtract the exponents as long as the base is equal. And this problem is slightly tricky though because here, right, if you think about what's happening, three times three, five times over, three times three, seven times, right? Altogether, seven times. So here, what's gonna happen is if we group, right, three over three and three over three, these each cancel out. So in a sense, that's why we subtract, right? We subtract out the equal pairs, right? There are five equal threes in the numerator and denominator, which, is, which should leave us, oops, I made a mistake here, two threes left over, right? That's seven threes. So you could say, oh, that's equal to 1 over 3 squared. Or you could say that's equal to 3 to the negative 2. Or you could say that's 1 over 9. Now, depending on the format, they might want you to avoid negative exponents. If that's the case, you would then choose one of these formats right there. If they want you to leave it in an exponential form, you would choose this numerator, this fraction right here. If, if they don't mind, you could choose then 1 ninth. Uh, these are all equivalent, but usually they want us to avoid negative exponents. And the last one here, uh, negative 32 to the 3 fifths power. Seems a little intimidating at first, but if we kind of split this fraction up, we can think of it as 3 times 1 fifth, because that is 3 fifths. Or we could reverse that and think of this as 1 fifth um, times 3. Now, what does that mean in either case? Well, when you have the 1 fifth power, you're finding the fifth root. You're finding a number times itself five times that gives you negative 32. So I'm gonna, I don't wanna cube 32 first, right? So I don't wanna choose this one because I don't feel like doing that first. Instead, I'm gonna find the fifth root of negative 32 first and then raise it to the third power. I find that to be easier. So what is the fifth root of negative 32? Well, that's just equal to negative two. Right? Because negative 2, if you can imagine, times negative 2, times negative 2, times, times negative 2, times negative 2, well, this will be a negative product that equals 32. So that is the fifth root of negative 32. We're raising that to the third power, which is negative 8. Right? Because negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4, times negative 2 is negative 8. All right, hope this helped.